mission some apologies for obviously you have so many friends around the world but um, three friends in particular that um, are unwell and um, actually quite sick to I'm sure they would be here if they could. Uh, during the service we will reflect and celebrate his life, believing that all human life is valuable and for which we now experience great loss. Um, I'd like to welcome Andrew up to speak on behalf of Stuart's family. Please be seated. First year, our mother Lexi said that you belonged in Australia, and she was right. Bondi was your home, and you told us that the sky was higher here. Stuart may have meant something to each and every one of you. Personally, he was my big brother. When we were young, he took that girl very seriously. If you called me and my pal, when the raised in the cup on a Saturday night, he chases, takes out in a finery through Glasgow city centre to the bus stop home. He had to form a stew watch to get away with anything. He was no angel though, he was my mother's heart roasted at the time. She had done everything for a laugh. One time when he was about 14, the police brought him home because he set off a fire extinguisher from the doorway of a pub, choking everyone inside. Really because he thought it would be funny. He was grounded for a week. I watched him climb out of the window and over the veranda every night. He gave me 50 <laughs> to cover I not tell him. Easy money, I was saying. All of you will know for sure that Stuart was full of cheek and full of fun, but his heart was golden. He said the smell was true. Someone had to be the butt of his jokes, which would often backfire on him. He never gave up on the mischief mate. The smell said it all. My blue-eyed big brother had been whisked away too soon. He went before Robbie could thrash him on the old course in St Andrews, and before Carla could buy him a pub lunch in Bondi. Maybe she's old enough. A special, a special Uncle Stuart was a hero, especially at Christmas in Buffy. He lived happy in there, heart forever. I miss him dearly, I thought he was indestructible. He told me that. Blessed be thankful for the love and the laughs that he left us with. He was a free spirit. That spirit is as strong today as it's ever been and as free to be as it's ever been. So in the words of another great cheeky chappy, there the hand my trusty fear and there the hand of thine, and we'll take a right kick while I walk for all I sing. For all I sing, my dear, for all I sing, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for all I sing. Sleep well, Stuart, watch out, heaven, there may be trouble. Okay. Much love to you all, always from the recess of vanity.